Okay, good evening. This is Mom Teen. So, tonight, I will tour you on how to use the test portal. So, let's go to Microsoft Teams, log into your account, and click the three dots here. Okay? So, makikita po natin, we have the test portal. So, just click test portal. Then, what are the features in the test portal? Okay, so we have the My Test. Uh, before tayo pupunta sa uh, features, continue with Microsoft. Okay, so just continue with your Microsoft account. And then, um, you will be directed to the test portal uh, part. So, ito po yung mga features ng test portal. So, we have My Test, Result-Based, Manage Account, and About. So, My Test, ito po yung lahat ng test na ginawa po natin. And then, for the result base, okay, for the result base, we have here the possible results collected, okay, by the teacher. Then, uh, when we say Manage Account, so Manage Account contains the general information of your account. If you are paying, okay, pay for subscription, your transaction history, subdomain, uh, respondents data fields, and so on. So, check that under here sa manage account, makikita po natin yung how many results are being stored, currently stored results in your account. So, you are only given um, 100 free results per account. So, you cannot use your test portal na sabay-sabay for how many sections because you are only allowed to store about 100 responses or results. So, ang gagawin po natin is para makastore ka ng another 100. So, if in case hindi sabay yung exam, so pwede na 100 muna for an hour. Then, after taking the test, collect the results and then delete para may magkaroon ka na naman ng another 100 na results. Or, you can use multiple accounts for a test portal. So, you can have test portal 1, two, test portal 2, and so on. So, bakit nga po ba 100 results lang? This is because we are using the free account. Okay. So, if we're going to click here, the pay subscription, so, we are just here, free forever. But, Result storage is limited to 100, so we can actually advance test. We have the advanced test configuration, advanced reporting X, which is oh, okay in um, EDU with $39 per year. Then we have additional user accounts and collaboration, so hindi po yan available for the free EDU. Okay, kung gusto din natin school for proactive schools and districts who want to elevate their teaching, so ask for code. Ayan, so it is not actually directly stated kung magkano. So since this is just a free um, usage, so don't expect to have a unlimited results. So how to make a test? Okay, paano ba natin gagawin yung test natin using the test portal? Okay. So, we will go to My Test. And under here, sa My Test, you need to click New Test. Okay, New Test. Okay, so let's go back. So, how to make a test. So, again, so we will just click here. Okay, My Test. Then, nasa upper right side, we have the new test. So, if we're going to open new test, so ito yung mga tinatawag nating test configurations. We have the general settings, we have the question manager, we have the test sets, we have access to test, we have the start page, we have the grading summary and summary, and we have the timer settings. Now, under the general settings, we need to name our test. Let's say this is um, FTC test. So, for the chart test, then if you want to categorize this one, let's say you want to um, write this one. Uh, the category of this is for science 9. Okay, science 9. So, you have here the category science 9. So, you can actually add category or you just 
leave it uncategorized. Then we have, of course, the, for the test language, English. Then, of course, for the description, so option notes visible only for you. So since this is only visible for you, so no need to write description anymore. So click create. So if we're going to click create, so makikita po natin, we have the configuration summary. So the test belongs to category science 9. Then what are we going to do next is to add questions. Okay, add questions to the test. So click add questions. Then if we're going to add questions, okay, so you have here add question. So ito yung magiging mukha ng uh, ano natin, test portal page. So question, let's say number one, what is cell? Let's say what is cell? So, if you have here question number one, what is cell? So, you can actually add category for this or you can leave this one or you will just leave this one as generic. So, pag sinabi natin add category, let's say may mga categories ka. You have question for, let's say, science. We have question for biology. We have question for chemistry. We have question for physics and so on. So, this one under category biology. So, lagyan natin create. Okay, we will create a category for this. So, ang cell na question, what is cell, is under biology category. Now, if you're asking if, is it um, necessary, is it always necessary to put category? So, actually, um, hindi naman siya masyadong ganun ka-importante. But then, if you want to categorize your question, and if you want to check, Kung saan mahina yung studyante, what category doon sa test mo. So, you need to write there or to put there the category. Now, under here, we have the answer type. Okay, so when we say, if we're going to click here, answer type. So, meron tayo dito single choice. We have multiple choice. We have descriptive. We have um, true or false, short answer, and survey. So, pag sinabi natin single type, so this is the most common um, type of question we are using, the multiple choice question, but then single choice. Okay, single choice lang. So, example, what is cell? Okay, let's say the basic unit of life. Another one, we have... Um, smallest particle, let's say... The third one is, um, let's say, indivisible particle. Okay, and since this is only um, three, uh, having three choices lang siya, so we can actually add. Pwede tayong mag-add dito ng category. Uh, mag-add tayo ng another, uh, anong tawag dyan, possible uh, choices. Okay? Then, sabihin natin, this one is none of the above. Okay? So, example, we have here, what is a cell? So, cell, the basic unit of life, smallest particle, indivisible particle, none of the above. Now, before ka pupunta dito sa baba, make sure na you click the correct answer. So, the correct answer is the basic unit of life. So, i-click po natin yan. So, example, pag mali yan siya, let's say ito, okay, yan siya. So, anong difference ng multiple choice? Okay, pag i-click natin si multiple choice, pwede natin i-click yan lahat. Okay, kasi uh, answers are more than one. So, ito naman, single choice, isa lang talaga. So, single choice, this one, the basic unit of life. Then, after that, points for correct answer. Okay, points for correct answer. If this one is two points, so, so you write there, two points. So, if this is one point only, so just put one point. Now, points for wrong answer, this is actually right minus wrong. Okay, uh, yung points for wrong answer, kung la, uh, bibigyan mo ng points for wrong answer, let's say, right minus wrong yung test mo, so we will put here negative. Let's say, negative 1. So, every mali niya, mag minus lang. So, example, mali sagot niya, so mag negative 1 na siya. So, mag-minus na siya sa total number of points ng students. But, parang ano naman masyado. Parang over over na. 
Okay, so points for correct answer, just write zero. Now, display maximum possible score for this question. So, I usually um, left, uh, leave this one, ano lang, hindi siya naka-on. But then, ito, force respondent to answer the question when first time displayed. So, this is equivalent to sa forms na uh, required. Okay? But do not terminate the test if an, if an answer to this question is wrong. So, yan nyo lang. So, ito lang yung ino natin. So, after having this question, proceed tayo, save and next. Save and next if we want to add another questions. Pero if wala na tayong another question, just save lang. Okay, so since we're going to add more questions, so save and add next. Okay, so this will be question number two. So, let's say question number two under category, let's say chemistry. Okay, what is the chemical formula of table salt? Okay, let's say this is our question. What is the chemical formula of table salt? Now, let's say since this is under category chemistry, so I will add here chemistry. Okay, chemistry. Then, I don't want to have, uh, I don't want this single choice answer type, so I will just use short answer. Okay, short answer. Now, so, if this is the structure of short answer. Now, if you're going to click this one, so you will be asked for an answer. So, click add an answer. Then, write there the correct answer. NACL. So, how many points? Let's say this is equivalent to two points. So, since this is the correct answer, no other answer. So, this is the final answer. Now, na maximum number of answers. So, you have only one. Okay, one lang dapat sagot mo dyan. So, maximum number of answers uh, is equivalent to one. So, maximum number of points. Okay, let's say this is two. Okay, one answer with maximum number of points, two. Okay, so save and next. Yan. So, take note. Question number two has been added successfully. Now, let's proceed to question number three. Let's say solve or convert. Let's say convert 10 meters. Actually, um, we can use this one. Okay, 10 meters per second. Okay, per second in uh, 2 kilometers per hour. Okay, if this is the case, let's say convert 10 meters per second to kilometers per hour. So, this is under, let's say, category physics. Okay, physics. So, create. Now, I don't want to have the short answer type of question or answer, but then I will choose, let's say, descriptive. Okay, so descriptive actually, okay, so you, they will be given about 200 words or... In the descriptive type kasi, pwede silang, ganito yung structure sa descriptive. Pwede silang mag-upload ng picture ng kanilang uh, gisolve. Pwede din silang mag-upload ng video. They can add link. They can write the equation and so on. Okay, sa descriptive type. So, um, display maximum possible score. Usually, ay ginaklose ko lang yan. And then, force respondent to answer yes. Okay, let's say... Um, the question, I have only three questions. So, I will save this one. Save. Okay, one point lang yun siya. So, if we're going to check, okay, your questions, okay, preview questions. So, click natin preview. Okay, preview. So, ganito yung structure. Okay, waiting pa po. Bakit ang tagal? Okay. 